What's going on, guys? How's it going? Uh, Rob, RNG Games. So, this video, uh, pretty much, I got the idea from someone who asked me a question. So, I figured I'd make it into a full-fledged video. Um, I'm going to show you how I ship up to 50 cards in a plain white envelope. I know it sounds like a lot, but hang on to your britches. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do it, and I've literally never had an issue. Um, I've done over, on one of my TCG player accounts, over about over 50,000 sales in one year. So uh, I have done quite a bit of sales. So I have done this quite a few times. So there's different stages to this. We could fit up to uh, 13 cards in one envelope uh, with one stamp. Once you get over that, you have to do two stamps, and you do two stamps up to 50 cards. After that, you pretty much have to pay for shipping. Uh, so let's go right down to the uh, hands-down display and let's show you how to do this okay welcome all right so pretty simple we'll start out with the easiest one which is like pretty much one to 13 cards it's it's very easy i'm sure everyone has done this before but pretty much you can fit up to 13 cards in a single envelope with just one stamp so we're gonna count out uh 13 cards and just do it that way so right here, we got our 13 cards. Uh, you just uh, include a penny sleeve. All right, I should have been prepared for my own video, but this is what you do. You do three cards, one penny sleeve, one, two, and three. All right, we got that done. Hard part done. Top loader. Easy. Sorry about that. Team bag. All these things are very cheap. Now what I do is I put a little uh, like label to keep the card from moving back and forth in transit. Oh, sorry. Whoops. We got to include the other cards. Right here. The rest of the 13. Now, once you get over 13, it gets a little, uh, you can include a penny sleeve. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends on the value of the cards. That. Fold it up. There we go. Into the envelope, sealed, perfect. Never had an issue ever. Uh... That's 1 through 13 cards. Now, we get from 13 to 26. You can sometimes fit, like, almost 30, but I'd usually do, like, between 26 to 28, maybe 29 cards. And this is the procedure I do for that. So, it's almost the exact same. Let's count out the cards first. We got right here, we got 13 Let's count out another 13. All right, so pretty much you're just going to double it up. What we just did, we just do it twice. So we're going to put the three cards uh, in the penny sleeve because pretty much three cards is the only thing that could fit in a top loader. So we'll just do that. Three cards in a top loader. Slam it down again. Team bag. Take the cards. Now, you can just throw them all into a penny sleeve. I sometimes do it. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on the value of the order, like I said. Now, right here, this is going to be 26 cards. Now, I said you can do around 30, but... Uh, you can do 30, 32 with this same uh, method. 
Now we do the same thing with what we did last time. I just use, you can use painter's tape if you really, you know, don't have the labels, but I like the labels because it's a little bit more professional and pretty much the same deal. We fold it up into one another. It goes into the envelope very easily. Fold it up, done. Ready for the mailbox. Never had an issue with that ever. Now, probably what you're all waiting for and wondering is get to the 50 cards already. All right, we're gonna do the 50 cards. All right, so we got our 50 cards right here. Someone ordered 50, I don't know, swamps, whatever, but you're in a panic right now. And you're like, how the hell do I ship this to this person? 50 cards. So it's pretty simple. You do three stacks of either 16 or 17, whatever. You can do up to 52 in a, in a single uh, envelope, but I, I just rounded off 50. This is what you do. So we're just going to make our three piles. Okay, One pile, two piles, three piles. Oh, we got two cards left. So 51 cards would be a more better uh, representation of this video. So pretend I said 51. Boom, boom, and there's another one there. This is very easy. You can do like up to like 56 if you really want to push it. I have done like 60 something, but after that it gets a little crazy. Uh, you're risking you're risking it pretty much at that point. So what I do, you don't even have to include a penny sleeve. Uh, put it in a team bag. Make sure it's really tight. Close it up. There we go, that's one. Let's repeat this process three times. All right, so we got our three stacks in our team bags. Now we uh, pretty much seal it up because if you just ship it like this, it's not gonna end well because it's gonna shift. It's gonna get all banged up, it's gonna be bad. So now what we do is we take the little excess we take our label, we fold it over, the excess, and I just put a little label on there. And now it's tight. And now we just repeat the process two more times for the other guys. All right, now we got our three stacks here. Now what we do, we take a blank piece of paper this isn't going to be your packing slip. This is just a plain, regular, blank piece of paper. We take our three small stacks, put them in the middle. Now what we do is I like to do uh, more labels. Let me go get more labels. Sorry about that. Ran out of labels. But now what we do is you could use painter's tape, whatever you use. I just use the labels because they're here. I buy them in bulk, and they're super cheap. They're like... A fraction of a fraction of a penny. Now, this is our plain sheet of paper. This is not the packing slip. What we do, we fold it over nice and tight. That's going to keep them in check and in uniform while in transit. Nothing's going to happen. Fold it over. Now, you take your packing slip. So we're going to double uh, wrap it. This is going to keep the cards nice in there. Boom, boom. Now they go directly into the envelope. They fit perfectly. These are top flight envelopes. They're in there, in there like swimwear. Now peel it off. You're gonna have to do a little bit of force over here. Boop. And it's in there, man. Put your little return address. You don't even need to include any tape on the back. I've never done that ever. It's in there. It's done. 50 cards. 52, 54, whatever you want to do. And it is ready to go to the location, to the customer. And it literally costs you. Now you include two stamps here. Don't worry about machinable, non-machinable. Um, I just include two first-class postage stamps, and that's it. Uh, you're ready to, ready to roll. Bing, bang, boom. I've never had an issue. Like I said, over 50,000 sales on TCG Player this year alone. 
and I've never had an issue with a customer doing this. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick one, quick little video of how to do this and uh, help you guys out. See you later.